Hello everyone. Um, this is. <coughs> so this this is. Wait for a moment. So this is Mashup. Um, it's a game based on Blade of the Light. Uh, it's based on a board game. Um, one of my favorite board games is actually right there. That one. So they finally made a digital version. Um, this is by Nomad Games. No, Nomad Games. Um, I'm not familiar with them at all. So. The menus are um, very catching. So this is what multiplayer is. Um, I might be able to invite people into the game. I'm not sure. I haven't tried. <laughs> but um, there's this thing called starter pack. Let's see what they have in there. Um, it has zombies and aliens. Shit. So this is basic. So how do I uh, So what do you have at the start if you don't have Oh you only have dinosaurs, geeks and Okay that sucks. So my favorite faction would be zombies and anything else. Um, maybe aliens because they zerg an entire thing. But you only have these. So dinosaurs are the power. Okay, this is stupid. Okay, um, before we continue, um, Smash Up is about smashing bases. So, in the game, there should be, um, five bases. Uh, actually, it's number of people plus playing plus one so there's three of us playing so that would be one base the base um, has a certain power level to it let's say it has the power of 12 so you need a power level of 12 to break that base and then you get rewarded points um, based on how much power you contributed you contributed you you will understand once we start playing but um, why I started that, uh, why I started saying this is because the way you pick your decks is that you combine two of whatever factions they have. And normally, when you pick a faction, you're the only one who uses it. So I picked dinosaurs earlier because it was it had the most power. Uh, because of how limited. The number of factions you have right now the other people also have dinosaur factions as well which is I don't know it's completely against what the game is about because you control specific factions and um, throw them off and have them fight other factions like if I had dinosaur ninjas okay no one else should have dinosaur ninjas, but AI Fred has that as well. So now there's four bases. So it's temp Temple of Goju, Tortuga, which is a pirate base. Pirates are a nice a faction as well. It's all about moving people. Homeworld is an alien base, and this is obviously a geek base. So normally. So this is how a standard base looks. There's 20 
on the top that's the power level of the base itself you need a combined power of 20 to smash this base and then the numbers below that 4 2 and 1 are for the first place second place and third place um, players respect, uh, respectively so let's say I contributed 10 of the 20 and Fred got a 5 of 20 and uh, 6 of 20 and Bob got a 4 of 20 so I will be receiving 4 Fred will get 2 and Bob will get 1 um, you normally get uh, first second third but what's interesting with ninjas is that it's actually the second place person that gets the most points see the first place gets second uh, two second place gets three and the last place gets two again but each base also has a specific uh, what do you call this a specific uh, effect on it uh, like for temple gojo once the base scores or breaks each player highest power minion so these are minions the ones with the power on them high power minions uh go back to the bottom of the deck <clears throat> so let's move on to the hand so you with smash up you only have two kind of cards that's minions and actions <clears throat> you get to play one minion and one action per turn you end your turn and draw two cards so since I only have one minion gain plus one power for each war raptor on this base don't have any other war raptors so dinosaurs are all about raw power so let's say I get more war raptors so that means I get more power uh, on a specific base that means I get more power So this would have been perfect if I had a, another minion. It says after each time a minion is played here, the owner may play an extra minion of power 2 or less. But I only have one so let's reserve. Uh, okay the runner up. Let's go here. Um, now I can play an action. Move one of your minions to another base. Um, play on one of your minions. This minion is not affected by other players. Okay, this is technically a shield. So ninjas are all about um, sleight of hand, illusion. There's this action called hidden ninja. If the base is about to break, and then you feel like you you're not gonna win the base at all, or you, you're not gonna get first place, you play this card. Um, you can play this is special because you play, it has a it says right there special sorry it's special because you can, you can play this out of turn so let's say a base break I play this and put another minion of mine on that specific base so that I can get um, more points into the base uh, destroy minion power to your left so assassination also falls into the arsenal of the ninjas um, I don't have anything for now so I get to draw two cards I got minions I actually like this card for well, this Ashinobi so see um, he moves when a base scores so, like he's here right and then this base is about to break he can jump over Okay, there's an action over all ninjas. Oh, he has an he has a ninja. Sorry, I got. Oh, this is stupid. I have to click proceed every time he does something. War raptor. Okay, there are two two war raptors there. Um, I need to uh, for each war raptor out of space. Okay. Let, let, let. What did he do? 
Oh yeah, you can play another one. Whoops, sorry. So now that he has two War Raptors, so they each gain, gain plus two, so they're four four. So it's four eight plus three to eleven. Holy hell, what the hell did he do? Wait, let's see. Oh, it's Bob. 18 of 23. Okay. Um, choose one of your minions from the day to destroy a minion. Okay, whoa. So that gives me time to move stuff. Just each time I'm in your plane. Okay. So is it my turn? Oh no, not yet. It's my turn. So, um, I mentioned interesting earlier because, um, this is his war raptor. Um, the text says gain plus one power for every war raptor on the base. It does not specify and it's that it's limited to my war raptor. That's because no one else should have the dinosaur card. Uh, so this brings, uh, th this might bring a whole new level of complexity to the game. Or, uh, well, I would call it stupidity, but whatever. So, it, it, the problem is it's not designed to be like this. But because they made it free to play, um, they are selling the packs. And they're se selling the factions separately. They had. To make this compromise where you have to have mul you are allowed to have multiple of the same factions so it's my turn um i'm gonna play my thing here okay it's now 16 um let's Put it over there. Yeah. And let's see what happens when. Uh, wait, which one is moving there? Move on your minions to another base. This will be. Uh, play. Him. What, what, what is this? When an opponent plays an action, discard an action, it has no fucking shit. So what I wanted to do was move this card. Bob. Bob. Okay, fine. Okay, the base breaks. Um, how much do I have? I have. Five. Yeah. I can make a tie and get seven. Wait, no. I want to play this for our baseball. Proceed. Oh, okay. What did he do? Oh, he killed me, fucker. So they basically made sure that I'll be one. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna do anything about that. Not anymore. Apples.
this is basically broken. I can make a tie for second place if I do this. get four and you both get two okay really even when discarding cards, it takes forever. My turn, and I have nothing. More actions, and he is going to kill my fucking war raptor. Thank you very much. Felicia Day, hey. Move all minions to this base. Ah, what is this? Uh, this is new. Uh, when the minion is played here, other minions here of that faction gain plus one power. Okay. I haven't actually played the geek faction yet. Kill me at the end of the turn. Sure. Sure, do that. Just two power, so a fan is now four, four, and then we get uh, plus one because of this. So that's six, I uh, no, that's five. Yep, they should actually change the numbers here. But this is still in early access. It will improve hopefully in the future. I okay, my turn. Let's put you back there. Okay, we should get the bonus for this. The reason why they don't show spe card specific bonuses is because of how difficult it will be to implement. Like, let's say I get bonus for using the same faction, right? So it's not sure, it's 4, 4. Since it's not his turn, so it's 5, 6. But 4, 6 is 10. This is 5. This should be 
this should be 19 but these cards did not get the bonus So one two three four because of this. So that's one two three four because of this. And get the plus two. So this will be uh, six ten fifteen plus one two three four five. So we're supposed to be at twenty. Oh, it's when it's played. Okay. So it's not an ongoing thing. So let's go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay. benefits me so that's just not doing anything everything takes forever in this game okay yeah uh-huh so I'm training behind at four to seven seven This was the old... We've already played this. And of course, it's gonna kill me. Okay. The minion is not affected by the player. Amazing. But since it's not a point to me, let's not do that. I'm 
till end of turn. Not round, right? So by the end of turn, it would be for my benefit and turn. Keep forgetting I need to press yeah. proceed. It should be auto. Oh, let's try if we can do that. Game settings. Turn it off. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, did that. My turn. Again with the with the drawing. This is a race to 15, so this game should be over. Tortuga again. I 
I need to get a, at least a three. Wow, I can't not even sure what the fuck is. Why dinosaurs have so much actions. Uh-huh. Really? That's how they're gonna do it, huh? They've been trying to kill me. This should be the end of the game. What the fuck? Okay, there. Impressions of the game. It plays or is it is mashup, but it's very limited. You need to buy the other starter pack to get the most out of this game. Um, I'm not a fan of the fact that you can play. Uh, you can have mirror factions in one game. Um, it normally, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm not. I'm not a fan of it. It it, it worked in my favor at one point in the game, but 
it also benefited the enemy, which I was not happy with. So I, so with dinosaurs, you try to spam as much of the war raptors as you can. But the more I did that, the more it benefited the others because they had war raptors too. Uh, I don't know. But um, there's this, there's this class called. We call it the Leprechaun class, the Trickster. It has a clover, and if you, it ha it actually has a card that says name a faction, and that faction cannot be played in this base. So with that card, you can effectively uh, block out most of the people off a base. Hmm. But that makes it even more catchy because the leprechauns are not part of the initial three you need to buy them you get a significant advantage over a lot of people if you do buy it because for the people who play this for free their go-to faction would be dinosaur because of the raw power it provides so if someone bought the leprechaun faction and said no more dinosaurs then well fuck they're left with ninjas and geeks um another thing i'm not a fan of how slow the game was even after we stopped the the, the part where you need to click proceed every time it was still slow as the fuck um every time you people collect their cards and put them in the discard pile um the game manually dealt the cards to people if that um if that would be if that could have been done faster that would be wonderful but um some of you might say that there is an option let's say it's here um game settings it's game speed fast but I feel that if you do uh, if you do game speed, game speed fast, you won't know what's happening. You will need to defer to the um, action log. Um, it, it, they need to work things out. They basically just need to speed that little bit of the game up, so it will be okay. Um, you interface wise, it does its job um it's it's similar to the other free to play not really free to play but the web based board game games out there but considering that this is on steam and it there's microtransaction um it could have done with a little more Flavor. like if people if the cards were fighting there should be a little bit more caching put more effort into the sound effects and speaking of sound this is annoying let's enjoy the silence um okay i don't know i uh I don't understand the music. It does not fit. Um, but to be fair, I don't know what kind of music would fit in a game like this. But it, I found it annoying. Other than that, um, it looks okay. It's pretty much a free-to-play game anyway. So you get what you're not paying for, I guess. Um, it's currently free on Steam, still early access. They probably will fix a lot of the issues I have with the game so far. But I'm not liking the idea that um, the Leprechauns are not part of the initial roster. So that's it for me on Smash Up. Bye.